Hello friends, now in this video we are going to create crystal report whose book is unremain means we are going to uh, generate crystal report. So first of all we need to create one page. So I am going to create one page and we are going to add one form. Form name should be report of boots remain retain okay i am going to add this page now in this page we are going to add one button so we need one button property and we are going to change the text generate report but when you are going to use crystal report on that time you need to download crystal report so for downloading you have to search in google download crystal report for visual studio 2015 so you are getting this site you have to click this so in this website you have to download this crystal report you have to download this after download this you have to extract this and you have to set up this and then and then only you can uh, get your crystal report option inside this uh, visual studio okay so now i already take one button and now i have to add here crystal report so add new item and i have to select here crystal report if you are finding that you cannot find your crystal report means this option is not available here then uh, you have to download or you forgot to download uh, uh, forgot to download crystal report so you need to download uh, after downloading you will get this option over here and now add so you can see here uh, and here we have to select this as a blank report now ok I will show you step by step everything now in this server explorer you can see this is our table and we need to display record of this table because uh, we want to display uh, student list whose boots are remain to submit so we have uh, record in this table okay so now we need to add one more thing add new item and we need to select data set and now add so you can see here we have this uh, data set and now right click here add and we have to add data table so this is now we need to add here column so click here and you have to press control plus l control plus l now uh, we need to give column name so we have to give column name same as this uh, i need few columns so i will take here student enrollment this is the first column and yeah you have to check spelling student enrollment now control l student name okay now control l student content yeah now control l and now we need only uh, books issue date and after uh, writing this uh, column name if you want more then you, you can select but, uh, but uh, right now i need only this four so i select this but you have to consider this spelling same as this student underscore enrollment i will uh, verify one time student name student content and boots underscore issue underscore date yeah now you have to paste uh, you have to click control s so i save this so now okay and now here you can see this uh, data source you have to open this field explorer you can get this field explorer over here and now right click here data with export now project data edio.net and you need to select this now ok so here you will get this student enrollment student name student content and a book date now 
this is the this four column this is for report header just consider you have 50 page pages register report are then and you are writing something over here then you will get only one time only first page you will get this if you uh, write something over here then you will get uh, as a page header means you will get uh, this on 50 page but one time it is a page header and this is the details so this will get in all page now report footer this will get, get 50 times means on every page is footer and this is the uh, page footer so this this will you get uh, at the last of page so every time a report header means one time report footer means one time page footer means a, at every page and page header means every page i hope you understand that i will uh, show you later so first of all you need to drag and drop here again drag and drop here drag and drop here drag and drop here and now if you want bold of this then you can see your bold italic underline you have each and every option so you can use this and now uh, save this okay and now open your this generate report and now i have to make this page a startup page first of all so here um, program.cs and i need to add report boots remain retain okay now on this button click you add i need to add code so first of all using system dot data dot sql client and now we need to add here connection stream so for connection stream you can copy from any page copy and now i am going to paste here and now we need to add register report code over here so i already created that we have to copy this paste here and we need to uh, add here one condition if connection state is equal to is equal to connection state dot open then connection close and then you have to press connection open okay uh, we get here error because we need to add this list report viewer one so from this toolbox we need to copy this thrister report view viewer you will get this option only and only after installing thrister report i add here and you can try and draw as per your requirement now in this gender report you can see here we have this code and this is a table name and we want only whose book is not written so we need to uh, write here a condition where where book where book underscore return underscore date is equal to empty now i am going to run this if any problem in installation then you will get error i press this it will take time to load you can see here we get here record and if your printer is connected you have to just click here and you have to just set up one time and that's print so you will get this as a print and there are lots of options regarding print so you can use that now this is your sister report is ready but if you get any error i will show you which type of error sometime i am going to run again and i am going to press this generate report and you can see i get this type of error system dot io dot uh, file not exception or something you will get this type of error then what you have to do just open this your app.config which you can see here and you need to add this in this startup then you will not get this error i will show you again our error uh, will be solved you can see i press this and you can see 
I get this three star report. So this way we can generate three star report. But now we need to add this form in our menu. So I am going to open our MDA form. Now we are report. remain boots report and now we need to call your our page new and then rb dot so okay now we need to call our login page as a startup page again so in this uh, program.cs we need to add here login again oh yeah and now i am going to check this we can create hundreds of crystal report inside one project so there is no issue regarding that we can see we have this record now uh, i want to show you one more thing and that is here this is your data set name which you created so our uh, data set name is data set one so if you create uh, two three star report then you have to check what is the name of your data set uh, here i will show you this is the data set one if you create a uh, second report then your data set name should be data set two so if you copy and paste this code in next report then you have to change minor thing you have to change here and now you have to change here because when you uh, create second and on that time your maybe your data set name should be data table two data set dot data table two and here also a list report viewer two and maybe your list report name is also changed so you have to change here so you have to change minor thing if you create more than one list report otherwise everything is okay so you can see how you can create list report in csub dot net if you want to create more list report then it is very easy it is not difficult now thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it maximum so maximum people can use this thank you so much again thank you